Hi you guys, hey. welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be very chill. David don't even know, really know kind of what's happening, but I'm just here. Yeah, I decided that I want to give a different type of jab at, you know, the whole questions thing. You kind of ask your partner. So we originally did a video on questions that people are afraid to ask their, their partner. Husband, yeah. yeah. So I wanted to ask kind of unexpected questions that are more like sexy questions. So you trying to catch me off guard? No, I'm not trying to catch you off guard. I just want to see how you respond. I don't even remember everything I wrote down. Well, I already forgot, but we are just chilling. Don't take this video too serious, but we're vibing. It's late night, you know, the kids are asleep. So I just wanted to see if you will answer some of these questions and how you would answer some of these questions. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So, if I didn't give head, would you leave me? I just don't. Like, yeah, I probably would leave you. Yeah, because, I mean, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem? That's a problem. <laughs> if that's something I des want and it's desire and you just, oh, it's always an automatic no, mm, mm Okay, so is that like something like in the beginning or even now? I mean, it's hard to leave you now. We got too much built up, but if that was in the beginning, that'd probably be a no-go dog. <laughs> It's no for me, dog. I'm out. But if we didn't have kids, I probably would still stay with you. You work around it, but if you keep caught me with that in the beginning, <laughs> that's gonna be a no, dog. How would you? Have that's something me? I would probably find out in the beginning. We ain't never talking about it in the beginning. <laughs> we have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we wasn't doing nothing. Were you surprised by my answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not you know we good. Does it matter, I guess I should word it like that, if I am a lady in the streets and speak in the sheets? Wait, oh. wait. Go ahead, go ahead. You know how they be like, you know, I always want my lady to be a lady and then when she with me, she be a freak. Does that matter to you? Or not really. Uh, like, I don't even necessarily gotta be a lady in the streets. You be who you are, whatever. I'm pretty open-minded and accepting, so. I guess I'm not really surprised by that because. I just as long as it's, it's just as long as it's like still loyal to me, like not like you like out there and like, with everybody else and yeah, free range and stuff like that. No, but uh, I don't I don't care how you act. So in the if streets. I'm a little more seductive publicly or even socially or social media stuff like that that wouldn't bother you no just as long as you're not flirty i can barely flirt with you <laughs> <laughs> so we good then we ain't gonna have no can, issues can i flirt huh no nah, you get like you act nervous for some reason <laughs> you be awkward yeah oh no <laughs> i feel like i have no in between it's either I'm fully like on a no scale or I'm fully like boom, this is this is what I want. Yeah, you need practice. If you want to be more flirty. <laughs> Damn, I ain't even flirty with my husband. Somehow, Am I flirty? somehow he got me. Damn. Well, it wasn't through that. <laughs> Do you? Yes. <laughs> I'm just playing. Go ahead. Lotion your penis. <laughs> that's an off the walk. I was not expecting that. I didn't finish my question, but that's all I gave up. No, keep going. What else you got? I was gonna say, do you lotion your penis when you lotion your whole body? 
usually no. Usually I'll put on like um, underwear or in a, in a tank top. And just let and the then, air sweat it up. And then I lotion everything else. So whatever's open at that point. So like my arms and my legs and stuff like that. Hmm. What is one thing? <laughs> you got real close right now. I think we both got close to each other. I'm dead. What is one thing you'll never do with me? It's not something I think about. I'm asking you. I don't I don't have a thing that I won't do. That's that's not something I think about. So let me tell you what I won't do with him. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. This ain't my this ain't my episode. <laughs> not my episode. Have I ever walked in on you and you tried to play it off? So I was like unaware and I just come in the room and then you was like mess with yourself. But you try to play it off. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Do I remember a specific time? No, but I'm pretty sure it's happened. You don't recall ever doing it? I got like vague memories, but I'm pretty sure it's happened. It's probably like you coming in from the other side of the house and then I'm like, I like through the garage and then I just like slowly adjust myself or I'll get a blanket over me or something like that. I can tell you it has happened. <laughs> okay. I already know that's happened. And do I do that? So, okay, so I asked if if I didn't know, but there are times that I really didn't know, and then I had walked in. <laughs> and then you try to say that. <laughs> no, can I, can I tell a story? Go ahead. I don't think David even does this. Probably not. Go ahead. Is it too embarrassing? Just talk. We can edit it up. It's too bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so. I, he literally got home and by, at this time, right, we literally like was coming, he was going and I was going out. So he was coming home and then I was getting ready to go out. So he came in, we did our kisses and everything like that. <laughs> and I went to the car and I was like, oh shoot, I forgot my badge. So I, I put my stuff in the car and I'm telling you, this is like minutes. So I was like, I was already rushing to work. I put everything down and I go back in. I don't think I can run back in because I just left, right? <laughs> I went and opened the door and said, don't. And I was like, <laughs> what? And in that split second, <laughs> in that little crack, I see Florida on the screen of the TV. <laughs> and you. <laughs> What I do? And you had jumped up. And you butt naked. <laughs> well, I I tried to kind of close it really quickly so you could tell that I did see you, but I seen whole ass out. <laughs> I said I just left. How in the hell you already got porn? <laughs> I already got porn on the TV, and your whole you naked. You completely naked. Mm. I was having me time. He was, he was gone. <laughs> I'll tell you, when he, when he go to work, he got jacket, polo, undershirt, belt, jeans, shoes, socks. How in like the less than five minutes? Take it all off. He took it all off. You already powered Bluetooth, the porno, the TV. So I was like, what app he use it? <laughs> I was like, damn, you already trying to mess <laughs> Oh, uh, so yeah, I actually caught you doing that and you didn't know I caught you and I held on to that for several years, obviously. Until, until now. you know. <laughs> Have you ever faked the orgasm? No. And I don't, it's, it's hard for a guy. <laughs> I don't see how a guy can fake it. Cause obviously, you know, something shows, so like. But, but it's dark so half the time when you smashing. Mm -mm. I don't believe in faking it. I haven't faked it. I ain't gonna fake it. <laughs> so. Nice. Good. Yeah, you gonna be. Yeah. I'm not drinking enough. <laughs> what haven't we done that you would like to do? Use a swing. It ain't have to be sexual. <laughs> I thought this is spicy question. Well, he's forthcoming. I actually seen one the other day and it, <laughs> it like hung from the door. And I was kind of thinking like, 
how does that work? Cause like it looked like I'm gonna break that door. It looked like the door gonna break or something, but it it worked for them. So I'm like, hmm. Hello. You was watching porn? Or something? Yeah, it was on the porn. Lord, child. Lord. But I was like, I saw that show. I was like, dang, that. <laughs> I wanna try that with uh. With babe, whatever. Child, you see, we ain't afraid. Do guys like direction? And then if they do, at what point is good time to be like, hey, I would rather you do this? Guys love direction. Like, I don't know why y'all think guys don't like direction, but guys would love it if you say, hey, can you do it this way? Like, I don't want to be doing something wrong the whole time and you never tell me. If I think I'm doing something right, I'm gonna keep doing it the same way. But if it's wrong in your eyes and you never tell me, then I'm mad at you because you, we, we've been wasting a whole lot of time right here. <laughs> so now's a good time to tell you what should be corrected. Tell me. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Because I thought we had that open line communication already. <laughs> Do you want to say something? I ain't gonna say no, dog. <laughs> like... Oh, uh... <laughs> I ain't gonna say no, but it's not something I'm gonna like make you feel like I have to have. But if it's something that so you would want to add somebody to our equation, <laughs> I don't even think about it that deep. Uh, honestly, that's that's what it is. It is what it is, but I don't think about it that deep. I just look at it if it's an agreement between me and you first, and then we're good with it, and it's okay to go. Y'all, you want a threesome. This video ain't about me, but. <laughs> <laughs> what makes a guy not want to commit to one person? I think the biggest reason that a guy doesn't want to commit to one person is because the guy got hurt by somebody in the past. Mm -hmm. And when guys get hurt by a girl, we take it all to a whole nother level than when we do the opposite, so when we hurt a girl, like it's, it probably don't think about it as much, it's not mm -hmm. a big deal. If a girl hurts us, it's a pride thing, and our pride is just so beat down that we really just don't be thinking about investing that much into the next female, mm -hmm. because you fear that if I do this again, it's just gonna end up like the last time, so, I'm going to, you know, protect myself, protect my pride, uh, because that's all that a lot of guys think they have. And you just never go that deep with the girls, and then you just move on to the next. So that's how, you know, most guys do it. <laughs> Last question. Last question. Why do you think guys' body count is so much higher than women? And what's your body count? <laughs> <laughs> You know, fun fact, we never talked about body count for a long time in our relationship. Oh, I was just saying, we definitely talked about it, but... It's only been, like, recently that we brought it up and hasn't been for any serious reason. Like, it's been a topic with other people I've dated, but... With really? You, yeah, with you, it hasn't really been that I don't think I ever, topic. like, straightforwardly asked you. No. I don't give up. <laughs> I honestly don't care. But what was the question again? Why do this... you think that girls, hot guys, body counts is so much higher than women? I think that sex is a scary thing for women. And very emotional and about trust for guys. It's mostly physical. It's about the feeling you get. Uh, Wanna, you know, feel good, bust a nut? All right, cool. And you go for, you know, basically the easiest thing you can get. Um, but females like to wait, so in turn they have sex with less people. But don't be surprised if you run into a guy and his body count is low, because guys lie. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> guys lie all the time and they lie to each other first. So like, if, um, you know, you're around a group of guys and you know this dude talking about how many he had, and, you know, you can't be you know down low. You gotta say what you had. And you just that's so Making weird stories. how the guy has to like portray that he had a good number of bodies. But girls, if they have more than like five, they start to get a side. Yeah, but I think as a guy matures, he doesn't really care as much about your body count. 
because sometimes more experience with more people is a good thing in some guys' eyes and then less experience with less people is not a good thing sometimes because you're dealing with a lot of emotion and you gotta do a lot of teaching and things like that, so. I kinda feel like the, the best thing is if if a guy been in both, so he has both long-term relationships, but then also had variation of women, because the relationships is what actually teaching him. But the other stuff is just like experience. Kinda like every, every girl bring a different sauce. Yeah, I think yeah, it helps a guy be more open-minded if he's been with a lot of different people. Yeah, and too. physically, like, you're seeing a lot of different, you know, types of bodies. Yeah. All right. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you like uh, this video. We were just doing something chill. Really do appreciate it. Comment down below if you want him to ask me uh, any type of questions or anything like that. Just comment that down below. Hashtag part two. And yeah, we'll go from there. So we're going to go ahead and call this thing a night because it's late. And it obviously late. we have kids and he ain't got to go to work. So <laughs> I gotta go work. yes, yes, we're going to get out of here. I definitely love you guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace.